The Crown Season 5 welcomes aboard brilliant actors and actresses who recently shared some secrets and even scandals. What made Imelda Staunton so nervous about playing the Queen? Why did Dominic West believe he was miscast as Prince Charles? And what scandal was Netflix involved in regarding Princess Diana? Let's dive in. Imelda Staunton as Queen Elizabeth II Do you know what advice Olivia Colman gave to Imelda Staunton about playing the Queen? One year ago, the actress was asked this question at a press conference. And as always, she surprised everyone with her wonderful sense of humor. Good luck, the wig's itchy. Coleman also jokingly said that the Harry Potter star should practice her regal walk. A year has passed since then, and this September, journalists asked Coleman the same question again. So did she finally offer any advice to the new Queen actress? No! Who gives Imelda Stoughton advice? She'll be incredible, Coleman said with a laugh. I can't wait to watch her. Indeed, Stoughton knows her job better than anyone. She's famous for creating brilliant characters that can literally steal the show or movie, like she did in Harry Potter. So no doubt Stoughton will bring some new depth to the most powerful character in The Crown. The actress certainly took her preparations very seriously. She began six months before Netflix started filming the new season, even before she got the script. You know, I don't start filming until next July, and of course I'm working on it now and listening to her and watching her. And well, that is next-level commitment. According to Stoughton, her preparation was everything to her, since the expectations were enormous. Season 5 covers a more modern period of the Queen's life, and most fans are pretty familiar with it. Now we start in 1991 playing someone much more recent. That's the extra challenge I have. People saying, oh, I don't think she's like that at all. Stoughton was truly nervous about taking on the role. She confessed that she was sitting in her room, getting frightened, thinking, I can't do it. But if you've already seen the first looks of Stoughton's queen, then it's clear her worries were unnecessary. Want to know who wasn't as stressed preparing? Leslie Manville as Princess Margaret. The Oscar-nominated actress took it way easier. At the end of the day, what we're doing is a drama. It's not a documentary. I don't have to impersonate her. That's not what the show's about. But don't worry, Manville still did her homework. As soon as she got cast, she dove into all sorts of research. I'm reading all the books and re-watching The Crown. The actress shared how she processed endless footage of Margaret, absorbing her personality. But eventually, she focused on what the previous two actresses, Vanessa Kirby and Helena Bonham Carter, had done. It was more important to Manville to pick up the baton and carry on being that Margaret. The actress also shared that she was planning to have dinner with the two actresses. That's definitely on the agenda. A three Margaret's dinner happening somewhere. I'll do it and it will happen. Well, we definitely need to see a selfie of that threesome royal party. Soon we're going to speak about what connects Elizabeth Debicki and Princess Diana. But before that, check this out. Visit our awesome merch shop. We have branded t-shirts, hoodies, eco bags, and even phone cases. You can choose between dozens of unique and awesome designs. Click the link under the video and find your perfect match. Jonathan Price as Prince Philip This man continues the list of outstanding actors to join the crown. The star of Game of Thrones said he was confident about tackling the daunting prospect of portraying Prince Philip, especially because of his previous positive experience working with Netflix on The Two Popes. Just to remind you, Mr. Price earned his first Oscar nomination for his role of Pope Francis. So, once again, what a cast in the upcoming season. For now, we don't have many details about the actor's preparations or other behind-the-scenes secrets, except for these cool on-set photos. Check out how deep in character Mr. Price is, happily playing the Duke. But you know who was less enthusiastic about playing his character? Dominic West as Prince Charles. Yes, he was sure he was miscast, and he said so to the showrunners multiple times. But why? It's quite disconcerting, as I didn't look anything like Prince Charles when I looked in the mirror, the actor explained. Wow, we kind of agree that Dominic West isn't an exact copy of the prince, but who said that's a bad thing? Of course, it was still a big honor for him to join the cast and to portray the prince, but at the same time, Dominic really couldn't understand the producer's choice. Netflix tried to calm him down by explaining that The Crown isn't a show of imitations, it's a drama, which eventually made sense to the actor and he felt kind of relieved. Just like for most of the actors in The Crown, there was another challenge for West portraying a real person who was, and is, hugely famous. More than that, West said that he's met Prince Charles a couple of times, and that the royal member even lives 14 miles from the actor's country home of Highgrove. West's wife actually has a long-standing friendship with the new king, as they both share a passion for gardening. 
Well, that adds some pressure, doesn't it? But Dominic faced all the challenges like a champ. Essentially, his job on the set was to deliver a character, and we know he's good at that. We can't wait to see his version of Prince Charles. The Crown Season 5 will surprise us with other outstanding actors and actresses that you know. The award-winning Olivia Williams will play the newly titled Queen Consort Camilla. The star of Train Spotting, Johnny Lee Miller, portrays conservative Prime Minister John Major. And Bertie Carvel, who you might know from Dr. Foster, will transform into the former Prime Minister Tony Blair. All of these actors faced huge challenges performing real, famous people. But perhaps the hardest job of all was left for the charming actress Elizabeth Debicki as Princess Diana. The Tenet star met with criticism from fans the first day she was cast. Viewers couldn't understand why the previous actress, Emma, had to be replaced. She's in her mid-twenties and looks pretty much exactly how Diana looked in the 90s. And she's awesome, right? Of course, the fans didn't mean to offend Becky by any means, they just gotten really attached to Emma. Yet, we all understand the showrunner's decision to recast everyone in season 5 and 6. But can you imagine how hard it was for Debecky to handle that pressure? Another thing that made it even worse for the new actress was the scandal around Netflix consultant Jemima Khan. Jemima was a close friend of Princess Diana's and a distant relative of her love, Khan. She was hired by the Crown showrunners to assist in writing season 5. It was really important to me that the final years of my friend's life be portrayed accurately and with compassion, as has not always happened in the past. However, recently, Jemima made a scandalous statement, saying that her and Netflix's co-writing agreement was not honored. She claimed that a particular storyline wouldn't be told as respectfully as Jemima had hoped it to be. And that's why? She requested that all her contributions be removed from the series and she even declined a credit. Wow. The consultant didn't clarify what storyline she was talking about, but her statement added more stress for Debecky. The actress started doubting her portrayal of the princess. Was it honest or completely misinterpreted? So how did Debecky manage to focus on one of the biggest roles of her entire career? The key was Princess Diana herself and her magic. Debecky remembered being charmed by her when she was just a seven-year-old kid in Australia. That deep feeling was an endless source of inspiration for the actress. I remember seeing her face on magazines. She represented something extremely human and extremely symbolic. Debecky got the part not only because she's a talented actress, but because of her own humanitarian efforts. Just like Diana, the actress is all about helping those who are in need. That's what connects them. Debecky's a global ambassador for Women for Women International, advocating female survivors of war. And we at Asa can't wait to see her interpretation of the princess. Support Asa by sending a super thanks. Just click on the thanks button under the video and choose an amount to donate. And remember, we value each one of you. Also, don't forget to check out other videos about your favorite shows. And stay awesome!